Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Beachy Bunny and we are back in Port Ritchie today. Um, I am going to give this dock a round two for its money. It did really well last time. Um, unfortunately, I was not prepared. I didn't have the right clothes on. I had flip flops on. I didn't bring my crab basket to drop down. I just didn't have everything. I was just so unprepared. Today, I am prepared. And also, I'm getting started late. Usually, I'd be out of the house if I'm gonna go crabbing by seven o'clock or eight o'clock. Today, <coughs> excuse me, um, I left the house around two o'clock and got out here around 3.30 because of high tide. High tide starts around 3.42 today. So we're gonna give this a shot. I do have my crab basket right here, which I'm about to um, tie up. And I do have this one down here that uh, Fishman Mike gave me. If you have not followed his channel, I will put his channel in the corner right here for you to check out and subscribe. Um, he was gracious enough to give me a crab basket net thing. Um, I'm going to try that out and see if it works. It does work for him. And I'm going to get my crab lines on. So I am ready to go. Um, I hope we catch some crabs today. So let's get on with this adventure. See you in a minute. <music> So here is the crab net that Fishman Mike gave to me. Um, I have never used this thing before. Um, I know he uses it. So um, according to what he told me how to use it is you unhook this little thing in here. And this is where you're going to drop your, um, your drumstick. So you take this out. It looks just like that. It's like a little pin and then you open up the basket like this. I'm always forgetting my gloves. So we're gonna take the chicken, we're gonna drop it in the basket. Just like that, push it down. And we're gonna take the pin And we're gonna pinch it together, put it through, and then put it through again, I believe. So you can kind of latch it. And there you go. And that's how you set up that one. And of course, this one right here, super easy. I know you've seen me um, set it up in my previous ones, but get you a um, zip tie and you're gonna put it through the hole in the middle of the crab net, basket, whatever you wanna call it. Put it around your chicken, just like that. Take your bag and push it down. You ain't gotta cut this, I don't cut this. They don't mind it, they want the chicken. So that's how you get started. And I got this going and this going. I'm gonna get my crab strings going as well. And I'm probably gonna drop this over here. And then I'll probably drop this on the other side. And let's see what we can get. Okay guys, I have not fished on this side. I usually fish on the right side, so this is the left side. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this out here on this side and I'm gonna tie it off and then I'm gonna go ahead and drop this probably like right here and tie it off is there so let's toss this bad boy out sorry for the delay I think I just seen a manatee so I'm waiting for it to pass okay all right here we go Okay, it was a success. Now I'm going to drop this one. 
I'll bring y'all with me. We're just gonna drop it just right here. Now we sit and wait. All right, now it's time to throw out these. Right here. First, I'm gonna just tie them on to the side. It's secure. Time to throw them out. First one, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the second one. toss it over here. We're ready to go. All right, we may have crab on. All ready. I feel it. big and pretty he is ain't that pretty nice not even 10 minutes out here he is beautiful big boy he only got one claw though but awesome all right guys I think I got crab on he's swimming on this side now oh, I gotta move over to the side hold on just a second Yep, I got crab on. Crab on, crab on. He is swimming, baby. All right, let's see. It's hard, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna pull him on up. Got my net ready. Yep, he's swimming. He's swimming pretty hard. Let's pull him on up to the surface. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, we got a big boy. Y'all ready? Y'all see him? got him we got a big boy look at that guys Woohoo! and he is not letting go of that chicken and he is gorgeous look how pretty he is all right guys crab on crab on he's swimming with it got him he's just a wee baby Look how cute he is. He's just a wee baby. We're gonna take the chicken drums out because we're gonna go check on the um, crab nets on the other side and we're gonna let this baby go. All right, the moment of truth, we're gonna check out this crab basket. So the idea is to pull it quick, so. and nothing's on it nothing is on it so we're gonna toss it back out we're gonna toss it back out over here oops hold on i think i messed up <laughs> all right blooper <laughs> all right let's try this again we're not gonna toss it out too far there we go now it'll float to the bottom let's try this one let's pick up this one 
<gasps> we got a baby a very tiny and it's a little girl so we'll put this one back too crab on and he is super tight he's pulling super tight all right let's see if we can get this bad boy up here okay i'm gonna have to use two hands he is very heavy uh, 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 uh. oh he's swimming with it oh he's swimming oh he's swimming with it oh he's coming to me oh he's coming to me guys i don't know if you can see this but he's coming to me oh he let go oh he was so so heavy i am so disappointed but it's okay oh he was swimming to me and he dropped as soon as he saw my leg i think we might have crab on i gotta pull all right i gotta stand up because i cannot see if he starts swimming i know it's one on here all right yeah he's swimming with it let's see i'm sorry if i look tilted because i am tilting i can't see because of the sun but i feel like i got him on i just don't want him to see my um net pretty sure i have a crab on oh he feels super heavy too all right let's see let's see i may have to go get my sunglasses but i don't know if you can see it i can't see it right now but we pulling up very slowly do i see him oh yes baby i see him oh yeah crab on baby crab on got him ah oh, yes the sensation of a crab is so amazing oh this is what i needed i have been in the house since monday guys and um i haven't had uh you know i haven't had no fun so oh guys this dude has had a rough life. Let me show you. Hold on just a second. This guy has no pinchers. God bless him. He ain't got a pincher to pinch. Nothing. Hold on just a second. Look, guys. He has no claws. And look how huge he is. I feel bad. I'm not going to keep him. Even though he is really nice and rusty and he's really heavy i'm not gonna keep him because that's just wrong but look at his baby look at his baby claw coming back look at them they're so cute but nope i'm not gonna keep him but that's pretty cool to see that crabs can regenerate hey guys i think i got crab on maybe if I'm slick enough, it feels heavy. Let me get, let me stand up. Let me stand up, let me see. Let me see. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, guys. Got him. Woohoo! Oh, he is gorgeous. Do y'all see that blue? Holy crap. Look at them claws. Oh, he is gorgeous. Oh, he is so pretty and heavy. Oh my goodness. Do y'all see how pretty he is? He won't let go, but he is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty he is. Wow. So pretty. Okay, we're going to go over here and check this. Ugh. All right, let's see. All right. Absolutely nothing over here. I don't think there's crabs over here. I mean, nothing has even ate it. So I think it's time to move it. Or we can just toss it over here. Yeah, we tossed it over here. Let's check this one. Ugh. The same, well, no it's not. It's another small crab. There's no big crabs over here, so I'm gonna have to bring it to my side. We just got a small one. Got a huge swimmer. 
He is pulling with all his might. We got a big swimmer. Oh gosh, he is heavy too. Uh, hopefully it's not the one without the legs, but we bringing him up to the surface. Let's see what this boy looks like. Let's see. Let's see. I know it's a hard time seeing because of the sun, but uh, this is all I can do. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness, he is big. Holy crap. Oh no, I don't know how I'm gonna get it. Oh gosh. Um. Okay, what you doing? Got him. Oh, do y'all see how big he is? Oh my gosh. Wow. Are you seeing this? Like, are y'all seeing this? This is amazing. They are so big out here. Oh my gosh. All right. Sweet, look at those blue claws. Awesome. Oh my gosh, I got another one and I just dropped him. Oh my goodness, hold on. Oh no, he done went underneath the, um, the thing. Oh crap, he's a swimmer. He's a big swimmer. Oh my gosh. Y'all see this? He's he's being smart. I'm gonna have to pull him out this way. All right, let me take my, let me take this. Oh, he's big too, guys. Oh gosh. All right, let me pull him out just a little bit more. Y'all see him? Y'all see how big he is? Oh my gosh. Please don't lose this guy. Oh, he, he sees me. He sees me. All right, we're gonna have to be strategic. Y'all see him floating on top of the water? Got him. Yeah! Two in one shot. Woohoo! Oh man, this is exciting. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Look how pretty he is. How oh, cool. Oh man, crab on, crab on. But he let go. No, he didn't. But it's he's outside of the he's outside of the crab net. Oh gosh! I got him! I got him! Oh my gosh! He didn't go inside of the crab net, but I caught him. That's so cool. I'm so glad I was able to capture that. I caught my first crab in the crab net and he is a baby, but I caught one. So that's cool. So at least I know they're getting into the net. Awesome. He will be let go. We may have a crab on guys. Oh yeah, we do, we do, we got a crab on. He, oh, we got a crab on. Oh, please tell me he didn't let go. Oh, he let go. He was right here. Aw. Oh, he's back on. He I, I dropped it back down and he's pulling down. He's pulling it, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull him up to the surface or not. We gonna try, let's go. We gonna do it super slow. Is the crab on? Oh, he let go again. Okay, we gotta drop it. He's timid. Oh man, this is so fun. All right, we may have crab on. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got crab on. If he ain't dropped off. Nope, he ain't dropped off. Oh, I can't see him. Oh. Oh, it's just a baby. Ah, oh. and it's a female too. Oh wow, she was so small, she dropped out of the thing, but it was just a baby female. All right, I may have a crab on. Yes, I do. Oh, let me get my pole. Oh, I have a crab on. Is it a baby? Oh, it's a baby. Dadgummit. Oh. This is so discouraging. I haven't caught anything in like 30 minutes. Hey guys, crabbing has slowed down like dramatically and that's okay. Um, I just changed out my chicken um, because my chicken was nasty. They were eating it. It was falling off my um, needle and uh, you know how they be trying to burrow in the mud and make it all nasty and funkified. So I just changed my chicken. It has been so nice out here. I have been cooped up in the house since Monday and my body needed this. I needed to get out here and, you know, just uh, 
you know, just relax and get some fresh air because, ugh, the smell of sickness is just disgusting. But anyways, um, I'm gonna try to start fishing because people has been catching mangrove, <coughs> mangrove snapper and drum out here, sheephead. Um, so I'm gonna try, I just don't know how to, you know, saltwater fish, but it should be easy. I got fishing poles. I'll do live shrimp, but I'm not doing no worms. Mm -mm, I ain't doing no worms. And if I can use a bobber, I like the bobber method because I'm just old school like that. So I'm gonna try to fish um, one of these days when I have the energy to put everything together and like research stuff. So yeah, I'll keep y'all posted. So let's get back to crabbing. All right guys, after 35 minutes of catching nothing, we got a swimmer, finally. If he'll stay on, I'm not sure if he's gonna stay on or not. But we're hoping he stays on because I need some more crabs. But we definitely got a swimmer, a thick, strong swimmer. Hopefully he's a thick, strong swimmer. Hopefully it's not a baby. But let's see, we're about to bring him to the surface right now and see who we dealing with. Let's say hello. Let's say hello. Do we have a big boy? Oh, we do have a big boy. Yes, sir. Y'all see him? Here we go. I got him. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Woohoo! Finally. Goodness gracious, it took forever. All right, I may have crab on. I'm sorry. Here. There we go. I think I may have crab on. I'm going to be patient. It feels very heavy. All right, let's get let's get ready. guys oh he's pulling please don't fall off oh yeah crab on crab on baby oh yeah finally got him yeah woohoo crab on baby I knew it oh, come on let go alright to be continued I had not caught nothing in like two hours. Nothing. I had a conversation with somebody for like 45 minutes, but I have not caught nothing in two hours. I am very surprised. It just died. I'm, I'm feeling them pulling, but they won't hang on. And now I only got an hour left until the park closed. So maybe I can get one more. It ain't gonna be a dozen, but it's still been a good day. I am feeling a lot better being outside and um, I'm getting hungry. I haven't ate nothing all day. So hopefully we can catch at least one or two more crabs. Hopefully. All right, it's getting late. I got one more hour left here. I really haven't caught anything. So hopefully this hour will kick up. Right when I go to leave, I only catch one crab in my basket. Look at that, guys. That's so funny. I lit Look, I'm literally leaving, packing up, and I catch one awesome big crab. Awesome. All right, so I'm at a different location because I don't know what happened, but the cops came and, like, ran everybody out. There was only, like, two of us, and they closed, like, 30 minutes early, so... <laughs> I didn't even have time to put the crab in the cooler, but I'm at a different boat ramp that I've never been at. I think it's like Port Ritchie. No, it's called Sam's Boat Ramp. So I'm going to get the crab in the cooler and then I am going to go to the boat ramp right here and I'll show y'all what it looks like and maybe I can catch a few more crabs over here. I don't know. I never, I, I don't know. I think it's a river. I'm not sure, but we're going to see. All right, guys. So I'm on this dock 
sitting down and look at the blue lights look at the lights i'm in uh downtown port ritchie something like that and i'm gonna see if there's anything out here it's like a riverfront there's like people walking around and they don't close until 11 o'clock So I did have a tug, so I know there's blue crab out here, so that's a good sign. Um, I gotta look on the Google Maps and see if, um, see what river this is. I have no idea. This is my first time being here, but it's pretty lit because I don't know if y'all can see, but downtown is like right behind me. And then there's the bridge right there. So there's people like on golf carts and um, walking around and stuff, so it's pretty lit out here. I mean, it's only like 8.30 too. Y'all, I don't know if I'm gonna have, I think I might have something on here at this boat dock. We just have to see. And hopefully my light will stay. I think I charged my light. If I didn't, oh well. I feel something, but I'm not sure if something's on there. We're just gonna have to keep pulling. Dude, I think I got a crab on here. I don't know. I think I got a crab on here. I hope it ain't no gator. <laughs> It was a crab. Nope, it wasn't. It was a tree limb. Boss alarm. <sighs> Alright, I'll let y'all know, but I did have something on here. Guys, I did have a crab. It's a baby. It's a baby female. Look how cute she is. Oh my gosh. I put my I put my net down over here and I was like, what's that noise? Yeah, I did have a crab. So I'm at this park called Francis Park or something. <laughs> and it is so dark out here. Like my car's over there. And I hear all kinds of critters up back here. I just don't want no snake or nothing to come back here. But it looks fine. I think it's low tide right now. I'm gonna try this. If not, we're gonna go home with what we caught. As you can see, it is pitch black. There ain't nothing out here. There's some rich folks, you know, docks back there behind me, but uh, there ain't nothing else back here. So we're gonna see, we're gonna sit out here and see if we can catch something. All right, guys, I am done for today. I uh, It's like 9.30 and i tried the boat ramp and i tried the other place and uh yeah i i'm just done i'm tired i'm hungry um i will be cleaning these and cooking these um so i cannot wait to show you i'm gonna make stuffed crab yeah i'm gonna make stuffed crab um and uh i'm excited because i've never made it before but i know i'm gonna like it so that's all that matters so Tune in for part two of clean and cook. But I am heading home right now. I gotta get these bad boys on ice. I did end up catching only nine. That's fine. It's just me. I know people's like, oh, nine or eight or whatever is not a lot. It is a lot for one person. And, you know, my refrigerator is not that big, you know. So when I catch that, that's perfect. If I catch a dozen, that's fine too. I've only done it, what? twice so i'm excited i can't wait to go home and cook these um it will probably be tomorrow but it's gonna still be in this video so don't worry i'm gonna show you how i cook my stuffed crabs so i will see you guys in the kitchen all right this is what i caught today how beautiful Welcome back. I am in the kitchen 
and um, I am going to be making stuffed crab in the crab shells. That's right. I have never made stuffed crab in the crab shells, um, but you're going to come along with me today. I have looked at a few recipes and of course I'm going to put my twist on it. I got my Instapot going. It's hot. Um, I got my crabs in the sink, nice and clean. And this is the first time I have cleaned my crabs the way I cleaned them. Usually I steam all my crabs whole, but today, because I really wanna get them picked and ready to go, I actually cleaned them very, very nicely. So I will show you what they look like and we're gonna go ahead and put them in the Instapot. Okay, so I got my crabs cleaned in here and look how nice and pretty. I have never ate crabs like this. I usually, like I said, I usually steam them whole. So this is what they look like. And I got four of them in here. If I can pick them up. There we go. And this one. They have a decent amount of meat on them as well. Um, so we're just going to rinse them off again really quick and then we're going to take them over to the Instapot. Okay, so we are at the Instapot and we're going to go ahead and I already have my water. If you're going to cook with the Instapot, make sure you put saute so the water can be nice and hot so it can cook your um, crabs a little bit quicker. So first thing is first, we're going to put a little bit of vinegar in here, just a touch. We're going to put a little bit of liquid crab oil in here. Just a little bit because it's just four of them. We're going to just put a little bit of salt, uh, some seasoning salt. Just a sprinkle of Tony just for a minute. And I was in Winn-Dixie the other day and I was watching um, Crabbing with Tony. And he used this um, seasoning um, crab and shrimp boil. So I'm going to be using it and see what it tastes like. I've never tried it before. Um, I think it was like $2.49 for this tiny little bag. Um, i seen him with the long bag, like the Zatarans or the Louisiana bags. I don't know where he got that from. So I don't know. He's in Jacksonville. But I did see this in my Winn-Dixie. So I am going to put it in here. So... We're just going to add a little bit to the water. All right, now it's time to add the crabs. All right, let's go ahead and put these crabs in here. All right, here's two of them. I'm just going to toss them in here, just like that. And then I'm gonna put the other ones the other way. Just like that. We're gonna put a little bit more crab boil on top. Put a little bit of Tony's on top. So that can be nice and seasoned. And then, you know how I like to do. I like to cut up a little bit of lemon and we're just gonna put them in the cavities. Cause lemon don't hurt nothing. It just makes things better. All right, now that the crabs are in there, it is time to go ahead and put the lid back on. So we're gonna stop the saute. We're gonna cancel it. Make sure you're Nozzle is switched to the left. Oh, it may be a lot of pressure in it. Oh, there it goes. Awesome. Now, um, now there's just four crabs in there. We're gonna go ahead and put um, pressure cook on high, and we're gonna do we're gonna do seven minutes with these crabs. Um, I usually do five, but these are pretty big, so I'm gonna do seven minutes. And as you can see, you don't have to wait for it to get hot. All we gotta do is wait for the pressure nozzle right here to pop up 
and your crab to be done in seven minutes. So once that's done, we'll pick the meat and then we'll start with our mixture. Oh my goodness, I forgot the other part. We gotta put the shells in there. So we gotta put the shells just right on top cause they gotta cook too. Yep, as you can see, I just literally took off the shell and we're just gonna put them on top just like that. Now we can go ahead and put the lid back on. <laughs> If it's gonna let me, hold on. Make, there it goes, awesome. Now it's back on. Make sure the nozzle's back on and then let these bad boys cook and then we'll be able to pick them. All right, while the crabs are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and do the butter that I'm gonna be spreading like on top of the crab before I bake it in the oven. So I'm doing this just like if I was dipping the crabs like, you know, peeling the crabs and eating them, I'm doing the exact same thing. So you're just gonna take you some grated garlic. I like grated garlic because it just incorporates in the butter a lot better. And then you're gonna take you some lemon zest. And then you're gonna split over your zester and squeeze in some lemon juice, just a little bit. And this catches all the seeds, just like that. We're gonna add a little bit of green onions. We're gonna add in a little Tony's. And just for the heck of it, we're gonna add in a little bit of the crab boil. Just a little bit. We're gonna let this cook down. Literally, I just got it on simmer. Let this simmer and then I'll take my brush whenever I get the crab shell stuffed and I'll brush this on top and then I'll pop them in the oven. Okay, everyone, they are done and I'm gonna go ahead and take out the shells. This is what the shells look like. Really pretty. So I just got this um pan right here and i just put um parchment paper on the bottom and we're gonna go ahead and just lay out the shells all right so they look like that and hopefully we have enough filling to fill them up so let me go ahead and get these crabs out and start picking them. All right, these are still very hot. As you see the steam on them. I mean, they're literally straight out of the Instapot. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean these and pick them. And then I'm gonna put them in the bowl and then we'll get started with our mixture. All right, so I got some crab. All right, guys, I picked the crab and I already put some Tomies in there. So let's go ahead and finish up with this uh, mixture so we can go ahead and stuff our shells. Um, I put some Tomies in there. We're going to put a little bit of all-purpose seasoning in there. We're going to go ahead and squeeze. Well, we're we're going to go ahead and zest. We're going to zest a little bit of lemon. All right, we're gonna go ahead, zest that, squeeze some lemon juice in here, just for some freshness. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put the veggies in there. Um, I just had some parsley, um, some chopped garlic, green onions, and celery. I'm gonna put that all in there and give it a mix. And it should look like this. We're gonna go ahead and put in some mayonnaise. I'm gonna 
I'm not a big mayonnaise person, so a little bit of mayonnaise, one egg, some Worcestershire, some Dijon, and we're gonna put a little bit of sour cream because like I said, I'm not a mayonnaise girl like that. So we're just gonna put in a little bit of sour cream. It'll give it some freshness and brightness as well. Once you get all that, mix it together. So instead of not adding bell pepper, we're gonna add paprika, cause I didn't know paprika was bell pepper. Did you? No. Now it's time to add the breadcrumbs. And this is just straight up Italian breadcrumbs. And we're just gonna get sort of a thick consistency. Just like that. A little bit more. And that should be good. All right, and we're gonna give it a mix. Now we're gonna add in some butter, like garlic butter. Put that in there. That'll give it a little bit more moisture. And mix it up. Now it's time to stuff them. So I don't know if we're gonna stuff all five, but we're just gonna stuff as many as possible. We're just gonna scrape all the stuffing off the back and we're gonna stuff them. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so that's them. They are stuffed. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the butter on top of them and we're gonna put some paprika just for color and stick them in a 350 degree oven until they're nice golden brown. Oh my goodness, these look so good already. So let's go ahead and pop them in the oven. All right guys, the moment of truth. Let's get them out the oven. Here we go. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my goodness, I wish you can just smell the house right now. It smells like garlic, onions, lemons. It's just, oh, they smell so divine. Let's go ahead and plate it up and try it. All right, I sauteed some asparagus with some garlic butter and some um, lemons. So let's go ahead and pick one of these bad boys up. Um, they all look good. We're gonna try the middle. Woo! Oh, if we can flip it over. All right, so that's what it looks like. Let's try it. All right, let me try the asparagus real quick. Mm, good. Now let's try the stuffed crab. Oh man, it's so nice and buttery. Look at that, look at all that crab that I picked out of there. Divine. This is so much better than a seafood restaurant. Fresh crab, you can't beat it. This is amazing. Mm. Wow, guys, this is so good. I just, I'm gonna have a moment to myself. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, thank you so much for coming and watching the video. I hope you had fun watching the video of me cooking the crabs and catching the crabs. It's always a great time. Also, thank you so much to my new subscribers. I greatly appreciate it. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers. I am, I believe, 169. 
yeah, I need 169 and then I'll hit my thousand. So I am so excited for this journey. And you know, whenever you go out there, find a new recipe to cook with your blue crabs. I mean, there's tons of stuff you can do. You see, I just winged it and put a spin on it and made stuffed crabs. It was easy, quick, and it was so delicious. Even Master Roshi, Goku, and Krillin would approve. I don't think I would have any leftovers left if I ate with those guys, but they would definitely approve. <laughs> so anyways, thank you for watching. If you have not yet liked and subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, share with a friend, share with a family member, help me grow. And I greatly appreciate you stopping by and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye.